So coming into this series, I actually had pretty high expectations, and Episode 1 delivered on them. But coming out of Episode 2, I just love the show even more than I did last week. It's such a breath of fresh air in such an interesting and fun way. Like, I figured that they were going to keep the stasis pretty basic. Like, last week we saw a pretty good understanding that the physics and the way they are working when things were frozen, it was pretty damn believable. But coming out of this episode, they've shown us so much of this world and this almost like religion and these handlers and things, and it just leaves me like, I can't wait to see how much more they're going to dive into this world and how much more insane and unique they're going to make it. Like, first things first, let's talk about the handlers. Like, the giant handler weird-ass beast that literally crushed the head and saved the boy. I think it's interesting that apparently people who stay in this world too long eventually become them, and supposedly the old man and his family probably are ancestor. like this handler is the ancestor for them. So that's interesting, like it answers like why are these these giant ass god creatures? So I guess if you spend too much time in this world in the frozen state, maybe it kind of deforms you or something like that. On top, it's like not everyone can use abilities in this world because obviously we know the grandpa can use this like teleportation, but I'm curious if it's just going to be teleportation or if maybe each person, because it seems like they all have like this jellyfish inside them and it kind of like represents their life force in a way based on the fact that when that one guy did die, it went into the sun and it woke him up. So it's almost like it feels like their life force, but also their life force is very unique when they're in the stasis world. So I'm interested to see how each kind of like jellyfish inside each person is different and how it kind of interacts with this frozen world. But I think it's interesting because we get to understand the handler and how some people worship them as a god, the herald, but then you have the family who are saying like, oh yeah, that's our ancestor. It's old John who used to come to the family dinner or something like that. I think it's so interesting because just the way the episode functioned, we get quite a bit of information. Like some of the stuff that gets revealed and you would expect probably would be a few episodes down the line, but it's interesting and it, Pretty much we understand why these people are after this family because they want their stone. They have a stone that seemingly is almost identical but maybe it's not as powerful or they need it for whatever their grand scheme is. But it seems like they've been watching this family for a while so when the grandpa uttered the words and put them into this world, that's how they knew to go as well. Which we get even more information on how the stasis is because I thought the stasis was the world's frozen or it's not. But they explain it in a pretty interesting way which I think pretty much makes everyone on the same page of how this is working of the idea of like it's a movie frame there can be a thousand frames but each of them is a completely separate frame so think of it as a different world so the fact that anyone who's frozen they're frozen so they'll be fine when they pretty much come out but anyone who's awake in this world you can't essentially leave them and then try to just jump to a different stasis world because then they'll be lost forever and that's such an interesting concept in the way that you can escape people by essentially just unfreezing then freezing back into a different time and essentially you're in a brand new world but they can't essentially do that just yet to escape these people because if they do they'll lose their awakened family members the father as well as well now the brother who woke up because of that jellyfish coming inside him and that's unique like when's the last time i've seen an anime that's been actually this deep enough for its world in only two episodes but feels so different like i mean the opening song is such a different and breath of fresh air for an opening for an anime song there but still it's like i love this show it's so interesting like the characters are pretty damn fun to watch they don't necessarily feel like your typical cut and paste cookie cutter character a character b insert panty shot here yeah the ending song is pretty damn fan servicey but it doesn't actually feel that when you watch it and just the way the characters are interacting with each other the kind of magical element but ne doesn't necessarily feel like the magical element we've seen before especially with the way the stasis works in this show with the whole teleportation how objects are frozen and things like that it's just damn fun and I'm really excited to see, like, why these kind of handlers are the way they are. Like, why do they protect those who are frozen from other people? Like, what's the reason? Is it more on the religious side or is it more of a person just trying to be a good Samaritan? And that's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Like, the episode ends in a way like seemingly Jury is about to die. But if you watch the preview, and I mean, just the way the scene is, we're only in episode two and you feel like she's going to be the main character based on the fact that she seems pretty like the poster child for this kind of a thing so we know she's going to get out of that but it's going to be interesting if maybe the herald is going to or the handler the herald where you want to call him is going to maybe protect her or if the old man is going to come in and save the day or if she has her own ability that's going to awaken and pretty much save her but still i think the concept of the powers because 
like I believe in the synopsis it talks about powers and I think going into this series I was thinking it's going to be pretty typical with its use but so far it's been pretty damn unique and this is one of the most fun series of the season for me like I think by the time the series ends if it keeps up the quality introducing new ideas and making it just feel different from the past few years I think this could be one of the best and maybe even my hidden gem for the season I absolutely adored episode 2 so excited for episode 3 if I could have all the episodes right now I would be so happy but watching this week to week has been pretty fun so far, so we'll see how episode 3 delivers next week. But let me know your thoughts. What did you think of all the reveals, and what was your favorite moment? I think my favorite moment, personally, would be that whole, like, describing, like, how the world works and how it's, like, movie frames. And how when you jump and freeze and unfreeze, it's basically a whole new world. Such an interesting way to explain the world and how it works. But let me know your thoughts down in that comment section below. And before you leave, smack that like button, share your support. If you're new channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.